this video, I'm going to show you how to write math expressions and math equations in free version of PowerPoint application. There are a couple of reasons for making this video. The first is that the free PowerPoint app, which is available on Microsoft Office website, does not have any math equation editor. And the second reason is the method which I'm going to show you produces professional quality math expressions and math equations. You will get the math equations similar to what you get when you are using LaTeX which is a software for scientific publications. So when you present these math expressions, they will look professional. And if you are a math teacher, an engineer, or perhaps a lecturer, then this video is for you. Another reason is that the images of these equations, which we will get by using this method, will be in vector format, .svg. And the benefit is that you will be able to zoom these math expressions to any scale without losing any quality, or the sharpness of the math expressions, which is fantastic. And you don't have to learn a lot of programming. I'm going to explain everything in this video. And for most of your applications and your presentations, you will be able to write math expressions after watching this video. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Now PowerPoint is a software of choice when creating presentations for most of us. Although I use other methods such as LaTeX and Canva for creating my presentations, and Microsoft PowerPoint app is freely available on office.microsoft.com website. But if you look at the insert tab, there is no equation editor available. So let us see how we can write math expressions in our PowerPoint presentation. And the equation editor which we are going to use to type math expressions and math equations is called CodeCogs. And simply type CodeCogs.com in any of the browsers you are using. Then click on Equation Editor. And this editor is a LaTeX based editor. But don't get scared that you will have to use some programming. You only need less than 10 LaTeX commands to understand which I'm going to show you next. And once you understand those commands, you will be able to create most types of math expressions for your presentations or for your lectures. So let me show you how many scientific notations and symbols are available in this LaTeX editor. So if you hover over these icons, you will see that there are few fonts available. Then if you hover over these Greek symbols, for example, it will show you the symbols as well as the LaTeX command to print those symbols. So for example, if you type backslash zeta, the symbol zeta will be printed. Similarly, all other Greek symbols are available. All types of brackets and parentheses are available. You can type all kinds of matrices, determinants and curly brackets. You can type permutation symbols here. Then there are capital Greek letters. Also, sometimes you have to use these types of arrows and curly braces. There are a lot of arrows available. Then angle signs are available. And then also there are few stars, squares, rectangles and other shapes are available. So first I'm going to type few equations and put them in my presentation. And then I will show you those LaTeX commands that will help you create all kinds of math equations. So let me type something. So I have this equation which you can see on the screen and I'm going to type this. So in order to type x square, I hover over this x raised to the power a and it also shows me how to type x raised to the power a in LaTeX. So you type x then hat and then a. So this is what I'm going to do here. So x hat, which is shift six on my keyboard, and then two, then minus three x equals, and now I have to type a fraction. To do that, if I hover over this a divided by b, it shows me how to type a fraction in LaTeX, which is backslash frac, then 
within curly brackets you type the numerator which is a and then the denominator which is b so if you type like this it will type a fraction for you so you can click on that and it will show you where you have to type the numerator so my numerator is minus 5 and my denominator is 8 and now at the bottom I can see that I have created this math equation and now my equation is ready to be downloaded in order to download the SVG file for this math equation I click on download and now in my download folder at the end I can see this code cogs equation dot SVG this is the default name given by the equation editor and remember that if you want to view this file you can view in your browser so if I right click and I click on open with Google Chrome it will open a new browser window and it will show me this SVG file but I want to insert this file in my PowerPoint presentation so let me close this and now I copy this file dot SVG and now I paste this file on my desktop and now I go to Microsoft Office website and click on PowerPoint. I start a blank presentation and I can give it a title if I want. And now I click on insert picture this device and from my desktop I click on this SVG file and I click upload and on the right hand side PowerPoint is giving me some suggestions if I don't want to use these suggestions I can close this and this is my image and if I hover over this corner lower right corner I can resize this as you can see that as I am increasing the size of the image the sharpness of this math equation stays the same which is awesome because this is a vector file in your math expressions you will have some fractions you will have some symbols subscript superscript so I have already explained how to use superscript for subscript let me give you another example in which I have to type x subscript 1 plus x subscript 2 just an example so for this I type x underscore 1 underscore is for subscript plus x underscore 2 and so on is equal to let's say minus 5 so this is how you can type subscript so similarly for matrices if I click on that I can choose how many rows and columns my matrix has and as you can see that there are three rows and three columns and if I click my mouse a matrix environment will be placed in this editor and I simply have to type the elements of this matrix before this m% percent sign so let's say 1 is the first element then 2 and then 3 and these two backslashes means new line let's say minus 4 minus 5 6 7 8 9 and this is my matrix and now I can simply download and insert into my presentation as I explained earlier. So this is how you can type matrices. So let me show you an example for integral. So if I hover over this integral, as you can see that there are many types of integrals available. For example, this is a simple integral, no upper or lower limits. You simply type backslash int. For integral with limits, you type in this manner backslash int for integral underscore a means lower limit just like subscript and hat b means upper limit is b so in this way you can type integral for example if you want the lower limit to be 0 and upper limit to be infinite so after this hat you type infty which is the symbol for infinity and then after that you have to type some expression to do that you put curly brackets and when you type left side curly bracket the right will be automatically inserted now you can type anything for example minus sin x and these curly brackets will not appear in the expression and if you want to make them appear then then you put backslash and then curly brackets around this whole expression 
and now they will appear. So these are little things you have to understand. How to put the brackets, how to put subscript, superscript, and these are very easy. So if you want to put, for example, parenthesis, you can simply put it like this. So one pair of curly brackets is used as a bracket, but if you want to show the bracket, you have to use backslash and then the curly bracket. So let me show you another example. For example, I want to put alpha plus beta plus gamma equals zero. So I click on alpha, alpha will be placed, then I type plus on my keyboard, then I click on beta, and backslash beta is the latex command to print beta, and then I put plus sign, and gamma is here, I click on that, and gamma will be placed equal zero. So as you can see that there are symbols for almost any mathematical expressions. For example, these are symbols for sets, then there are symbols for square roots, as you can see, this is for square root and this is for other radicals. So when I hover over this, it shows me a hint. What should I type? For example, I want to type cube root of 27. So I click on that. Then I type three in square brackets and 27 in curly brackets. So this will be cube root of 27. So in this way, you can type almost any math expression in this LaTeX editor, which you can download as a SVG file and then you insert as a picture in your PowerPoint presentation. That is it for today. I hope you liked this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.